What's up, guys? Uh, I'm back with another video. So this time around, I wanna uh, I wanna talk about virtual. I've seen, I've actually noticed a lot of people are doing it. A lot of people are trying to make cash, but I'm just gonna give out these three advice on why you are not making money on virtual. Why you are not? Um, because I believe it's very easy. Um, so these are the three mistakes that I've noticed, even myself, that I was making earlier on. Uh, by the way, guys, I'm not providing any leads. I'm not providing any um ways on how to make money on Bedway. maybe i can but I'm, i don't provide any predictions basically that's what i'm trying to say so the first mistake that i've noticed people do they're trying to make money on Bedway. so i'm going to refer uh, Bedway, hollywood bets sporting whatever um sport person whatever account you're using right for your online um betting i'm going to refer to as Bedway, right because Bedway is very much popular in south africa so the first mistake that the, that people make is they don't do sports they do these online casino games right so no offense but i don't understand them so imagine you putting money in in something that you don't understand how it operates how it's programmed right each and every time i'm tempted myself to put money in in this online spinner zone um, aeroplane thing yeah, aviator so I just tell myself that I don't know how this thing is programmed. Number two, even if I have a strategy, the algorithm of this thing can kick me out or just it can read my strategy because I don't know how it, it, it's set up. You want to stick to sport, right? For obvious reasons. You understand sport. You understand the market. You, you have data. You know who's injured. You know the lock or um, the position of the team or the player on the lock. You know, um, the history of these two teams, you can do it live. Let's say um, Sundowns, I, I think Sundowns was playing some other team. I don't watch soccer, guys. Ne? I just follow the data. I bet. I don't watch. I'm an athlete. I run. I don't watch so I don't watch sport that much. I get bored. Can't even watch soccer for 30 minutes. I just look at data and make money. So anyway, um, a lot of people, they try to make money on Betway, but or if 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 in my opinion, if you want to make money properly in the long run, stick to sports. There was a time when when Patriot didn't have these online games or a good shot. Now they have it. Um I don't do them. A lot of people do them. It's easy, numbers, you understand. So because you can have a strategy and exploit a particular market that you understand in your sports that you understand and just roll. Most of the time when you lose money on spot, it's because of your um, ill-discipline in, in your budget um, betting potions, of which I'm going to talk about. So that's the first mistake I see people do. They don't stick to sport. They don't stick to something they understand. Um, even if you don't understand sport like me, you look at data, you make your analysis, you take your predictions, you will win. Even if you don't do that, you follow people on here on youtube there are a lot of guys who who you can actually follow and they will give you predictions um but one thing that i would like you to consider of which it will be my second point on the three mistakes that people uh, do on betway for them not to be able to make mola or money or or but in amatibas or the dollars right so i think the mistake um people do is also they don't take the risk to reward ratio into consideration, right? But let me just put that point aside. I want to get back to my that point. Um, actually get to my that point first and then come back to this risk to reward ratio I'm going to talk about. So the that point that people do or the mistake that people do is they don't consider, I'm going to try to make the, the video not uh, long. So they don't consider the seriousness of what they're doing. You're putting money. Try to be serious about it. Try to have a budget. Try to have a strategy. Try, try to have a plan. So that even if you lose, you at least lose with a proper plan. And this is the mistake that people do. They bet for fun. I'm guilty of that. I do it sometimes. Like South Africa is playing England in the World Cup. <sighs> you put in your money. So... If you don't do it for fun, you would have known that South Africa, they were giving them dizzy odds, right? So the best way of doing this was to wait for the game to start and do live betting. So when the South Africa is 
on the back foot they are losing and you put your bet you will get good odds you understand so and also if you do it seriously have a budget uh, you'll actually divide your your cash properly or your, your bad portion or your bad size properly you understand and you won't lose money so fast even if you do because most of the time and you, and and people will, will, will concur with me here that you put in 500 bucks 100 bucks 50 bucks 10 bucks you you make money it's easy in for a spot trust me it's very easy you make money you uh, 50 bucks you make it hundreds and something you understand you can withdraw the money you put in sometimes you even continue to make profit you understand Another point just to throw in that, that people don't realize you don't win all the time, but out of the 10 times that you try, six, seven, eight, even nine, you will make profit. You understand? So it, it this will, uh, this takes me back to, to the third, second point that I wanted to make, of which will be my third point on this video, is that people don't consider, um, just to, to elaborate on why you should take this thing seriously. This is serious business, sport betting. If you look at team in the English Premier League, even in PSL, even in other leagues for that matter, Kenya, South Africa, England, China, whatever, right? I don't know the rules or the laws of other countries, but these teams are sponsored by betting companies. And you can actually see these people are doing it seriously. Even the players that you will be, bet you will be putting your money on, backing for them to win, the, the teams that you'll be uh, um, uh, uh, supporting, or uh, actually putting your money on, them to win they're doing it as 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 their job something serious and you here you are i'm just doing it for fun i i don't think you should do that okay it's fun you can go to the stadium for fun and, and enjoy yourself spend your money and not get it back and whilst case chiefs or the pirate is making money by selling players by selling tickets there was a video on Mac G's podcast, a clip that I was seeing online. A former soccer team owner says a team you may, you you mainly make money by selling soccer ticket and selling players at the high price. So this is business. So take it seriously. The that point that I would also want you to consider in the long run is that you consider your risk to reward ratio. Let's say you put in fifty bucks or hundred bucks, whatever amount you divide it by five. I don't want to re uh, reveal my strategy here, but you, div uh, you, you divide it by five, right? And then let's say you, you're staking 10 bucks or 10 rand, or $10. And then your pro if you put in 10 bucks, you get 10 bucks. And then you win, let's say, you, you must know that you are going to lose, right? But you, and you must be psychologically prepared to lose also. And then, okay, guys, sorry about that. The video got cut. I'm running out of space in my phone. So I just need to get my cloud uh, space sorted. So anyway, you need to be psychologically prepared to win and lose, right? Because you are going to win. Even if you're an amateur, you don't know anything, you just pick, you are going to win, you are going to lose, right? So, okay, let me just finish up. I'm having um, difficulties with my space. So anyway, you must have a proper strategy on how you're going to scale up, right? Because you are going to win, you are going to lose. So just keep that in mind, right? So take the risk to reward ratio um, aspect of, of betting, of trading into consideration. So that when you put in, so I was making an example of you putting in uh, 50 bucks per you dividing your money properly by five and then per ticket, you're putting in 10 bucks, right? So, and you keep taking odds of two, right? So you put in 10 bucks, you're getting your 10 bucks back. If you make profit or if you win, if you lose, you lose the 10 bucks, if you win, you win um, 10 run profit, right? That's how it is. So let's say you win three tickets out of this. So it's going to be two, four, six. You make profit of um, how much? 10 bucks, right? You still have your money back. But if you win only two out of um, five bets or five tickets that you make, um, you have two, four. So you have 40 bucks now, right? That's not a good feel, and uh, that's not a good thing to actually uh, uh, go about when you are doing your sport betting stuff, right? Or you're doing your bet way. Because now, if you had maybe did your research properly uh, and get odds of three, so that when you put in 10 bucks, you're getting, you put in your 10 bucks, you're getting 20, um, 20 round profit or 20 bucks profit or 20, $20 profit. 
and then so that even if you win two out of the five bets that you make out of the five tickets you're still on profit you understand because now if you even if you go higher with the risk to reward ratio of one to five dividing your money by five even if you actually win one bet out of five you still have your money back if you if, if you win two just two you double your money so it's easy as that i don't want to reveal too much of my strategy so i'm not going to be giving any leads any um because i believe this thing is easy you just gotta um, get someone who can teach you on how to do it and um, mentor you just guide you um and and basically find your markets so i'm not doing much so uh, soccer that much i'm doing tennis most of the time i'm doing it live i'm only picking two teams or two players per ticket so kamala Mumsubat, please subscribe to the channel i'll be basically providing value on the channel um some of the things that I'm, I'm doing on daily basis um just like the data video that i put out on the channel on how i'm able to just not have data problems living in south africa so this is how i make my side cash it's actually way easy i'm gonna make another video on on this channel basically telling you how i force the bookmaker in south africa actually i think it's from germany yeah they are from germany i don't know whether they did the whole thing internationally they actually changed how they put in the tennis thing because i was exploiting them big time but anyway kamala mom so bachu mahambe tlatine nga kaol uma pega nga ngot zonka zom tlabu makala nga zenzo ila ma kilometer bafu etu so please subscribe to the channel comment on the uh, um, section below the only group that i will start is if i have enough people who want to learn on how to do it themselves you understand obviously um i will have to put in certain time so that i'll teach you properly on how to do it you understand so anyway those were my three things that why why people actually are not able to make money on betway consistently over time and why most of you guys most of us guys lose so mistake number one uh is the risk to reward ratio take that into consideration the reward must be worth it right and you must do your research guys you know? and then also take it seriously right you put in your money have a budget um for the week for the month you understand and last but not least um just take it uh take it serious what did i say the video i, I didn't prepare much for the video so I, I thought i should let me just throw in a video um telling people about some of the things i see people make oh the, the other that thing was there's a difference between sport and casino games there's a be different sport you can analyze sport has data sport has an edge that you understand what's going on you know all the rules uh you know that south africa wants to win i'm talking about the rugby world cup that's playing currently so you know that you can actually let's say south africa they were giving them like right now south africa for for the final in the rugby world cup they're giving them odds of um two or hundred percent um if you put in 100 bucks you get in 100 bucks profit so if you think maybe new zealand are gonna start uh, off as a stronger team and actually the odds for south africa are gonna go up because currently new zealand is the favorite i don't know how because south africa are the current champions for the world cup but anyway i think those are good good or uh, good odds for south africa that you can actually place on but on the previous games um actually especially against england i wouldn't have placed uh before this match starts but it was you have gotten um you would have got a good odds if you actually placed just before the end of the match once again guys please subscribe to the channel ne? sharp sharp